Hi, everybody, and welcome to the Fireside Chat. We figured out right before I came on, as it were, how rarely I have a guest at the Fireside Chat because I really do like to reserve it for you and me. So if I choose a guest, it's a serious statement about the individual. So let me give you a very long introduction (laughs) <laughs> because you need the backstory about how this came about. A couple of months ago, I was invited. Actually, I was invited a year ago, but I a couple of months ago, I lived the invitation to go to Denmark uh, and to speak uh, in its parliament building. I didn't speak to the parliament, but I spoke in the parliament building for the Free Speech Society of Denmark, which gave me a free speech award. I normally don't take awards, but I really wanted to go to Denmark and to help out this group. There aren't that many free speech groups anywhere in the world, including Europe. Thank God we have that in the United States, but not sufficiently, but that's another matter. Anyway, I gave the talk and I was interviewed by a number of people in in the, on the conservative side of the Danish journalistic world. And one of those who interviewed me is the woman, the young woman that I am inviting here. We invited her. She's never been to America. This is literally her second day in the United States, well, technically first day. And my wife and I are are just beyond delighted. So I have to tell you a little about my reactions to people. This is a very interesting subject, and you may want to comment on this uh, afterwards. So I have a very dear friend since high school, and when we would meet a new person, he would often comment on the person's intelligence. Because he, 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 as if, if, if you were, he zoned in on how bright a person was. And I remember thinking, and I'm talking about late teens, early 20s, and I remember thinking, I don't really care how bright a person is. And I have even theories on that, because most people are bright enough. But I did zone in on their goodness. I, I was able to tell... And this is a gift. I don't take any credit for it. Uh, I have almost never been hurt because I, I have been given this gift of knowing a person's character. Not everybody's. I mean, there are a lot of people I meet and I don't make any assessment. Anyway, this was a combination meeting this person in Denmark of brains and goodness. And uh, we, I think we turned out right. So she is a journalist. She is a conservative. Any conservative in Europe is a collector's item. We said, we'd love to have you at our home. And then it occurred to me, we're going to do a special fireside chat with Astrid, A-S-T-R-I-D. And now comes the fun part because Danish is not an easily pronounced language. Your last name is H-O with a line through the O-G. Mm-hmm. And now the fun part. <laughs> you will hear her name as it should be pronounced in Danish. Okay. My name is uh, Eskel Hu. Did you get that? How do you pronounce it, Dennis? Eskel <laughs> Hu. Was I even close? I think you, you, you are better on the last name now. Yeah, the first, uh, the uh, first still, name still is... still lacking? Yeah. So it's very interesting. I had uh, Bjorn Lomborg, the the great independent voice on the environment on my show. He's Danish. And I remember years ago, I think it was his birthday. And I said, how do you say happy birthday in Danish? Say happy birthday in Danish. And I realized when he said it, I wouldn't repeat it accurately. (laughs) I have learned, I love languages and I love music and they're related. And I learned Russian and French and Hebrew. I studied Arabic and and can get along in Spanish. But Danish 
has a world of pronunciation that's unique to itself. Is that right? Yeah, that's that's pretty accurate. Because you don't really pronounce yeah. all the letters. Exactly. So, in for instance, my last name, we don't pronounce the G. And we also have Not many... like it's a long name, yeah. H-O-G, but we don't pronounce yeah. the G. Yeah. <laughs> so, slowly, I, I love this. Slowly, how do you pronounce your last name? Who? Who? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So every other, every non-Dane would yeah. say Hulk, right? Yeah, Hulk or something like that, yeah. Uh, so you're used to that? Yeah, Okay. I am. And Astrid is pronounced in Danish? Estru. Yeah. So the, is the D pronounced? Yeah, it's a soft D, but it's hardly hearable. But it is, you can hear it like Estru. Yeah. Well... All right, but I'll call you Astrid, which yeah. is which is it's works fine. Out. Yeah. So, tell everybody the circumstance under which we met. All right. So um, I'm a journalist for a media called Contrast Contrast in English, uh, and it's a, a center right media conservative, uh, I would say. And um, actually, my editor in chief was uh, supposed to interview you, but he fell sick. And I didn't actually know you beforehand. Sorry, Dennis. But uh, <laughs> well, let's put it this way: thank God enough people there did <laughs> yeah. for me to get the invitation. Exactly. If nothing else, than to yeah. meet you. Yeah. So I quickly did my studies uh, upon you, and then I did the interview, and um, I think we just hit it off uh, immediately, pretty Correct. much. Yes. And we both have, I think, the same intuitive understanding of people. Mm -hmm. I would say too. Um, so we liked each other. And then you said you should come and see me accept this award uh, the next oh, morning. Oh, you didn't even know that? No. Oh. I, I, I knew you were accepting it, but I had no plans of like of uh, coming. No, no, I, I didn't know about it beforehand. So, uh, But you said I should come and, uh, and uh, see you give the speech and all that. And of course, I would like to. So I came. And then when you saw me, you you had a lot of fans standing around you, and you said, "There she is! I want you to stay in my life." And <laughs> that's think, that uh, sounds like me. Yeah. <laughs> and then. Uh, oh god. <laughs> and then the the other thing that happened that day was that you were supposed to have a dinner with the Free Press Society. And someone else, someone couldn't make it. I, I can't remember who it was. Oh, it's the free press. I said yeah. free speech. Free press. And then I was so lucky to be invited in his stead. And then we uh, talked. So wait, we met through two sicknesses. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yes. So so I'm the eternal stand-in, apparently. But mm. uh, two, it was a very two very lucky coincidences. And it all worked out. Yeah. All right, so hold on a moment. I just want to remind all of you that we will be continuing this really wonderful fireside chat at PragerU.com because only God knows what the social media will do one day to PragerU and to other conservative sources. So we ask people to watch our programming at PragerU.com.